It's day 28. You've got to the end of the second world of our Replit 100 Days of Code. And now the characters that you so lovingly brought into the world in the last video are going to battle to the death for your amusement. Yes, you're building your very first automated game battle system. So, taking your character generator from the last video, I'd like you to add some return functions there so that the health and the strength stats for a character are returned to the main code. I'd then like you to generate two different characters and store their data. I'd like you to use a while true loop to simulate those two characters battling. You're going to roll one six-sided dice for both character and whoever gets the higher amount wins that particular round. They're going to deal damage to the opponent using this formula. If they draw, they get nothing. At the end of each attack, you must check to see if either of your characters have actually died yet. And if they have, declare a winner and end the program. If not, continue what you're doing and keep them battling. Now, to stop this looking hideous, you are going to need time.sleep to pause between rounds and you are going to use os.systemclear to make sure that the screen does update and not look like a hideous long scrolling mess by the end of the battle. Declare your victor at the end. Top marks for the use of emoji, colour and anything interesting that you can do. Maybe even reusing some of the sound code that I gave you a couple of lessons ago to make the battle the most fantastic and thrilling time of your life. Share your fantastic encounter system with us in the community through the publish button. And make sure to use the hashtag replit 100 days of code to get your first battle system rigorously tested by our community. You've done amazingly well. That's 28 days of code where you've gone from printing some simple stuff out on a screen to getting two characters beating the living snot out of each other to the death. In our next adventure, we're going to start looking at how to store more than one piece of information in a variable. We're going to look at lists.